my brother wrestled for a while and, uh, you know, did really well for himself, got married, uh, went back to college, uh, doesn't wrestle anymore, was retired, uh, you know, came to me and wanted me to come watch uh, one of his, one of a match that he was going to in the show on a, one night. And I was, you know, didn't feel like doing it. I was uh, just starting down in OVW and he's trying to convince me and he knows my uh, appeal for the unusual, the odd. I love it. So <laughs> he starts telling me about Dewey Brown and uh, and his partner, L.S. Criterio, and how the month prior they did like a an in-ring promo with L.S. Criterio and Dewey Brown to set up this match where the heels were the tag team champions and they were did an in-ring promo and um uh one of the heels had said something that hurt dewey's feelings like for real like genuinely hurt his feelings and he lost his shit. he ran across the ring double legged the heel and proceeded to start beating the living shit out of him Jeez. to and go, went so nuts that the referee the ring announcer and the his partner Ellis Criterio and the other heel couldn't pull him off of him. He just was <laughs> beating the hell out of him. So I was mildly intrigued. And then he tells me about Ellis Criterio's tattoo, and I'm like, I got to go see this. There's no way that this guy's got this <laughs> tattoo on him. So I'm I'm in. So I go watch the show. Right. I I, I go with. Uh, my brother, I go backstage to say my, you know, be polite and, and introduce myself, shake hands. Um, and then I don't, you don't stay backstage. You know, you go out and you sit in the audience and you don't sit in the first couple rows because that's the money making rows. You find a place where you can watch and you stay out of the way. You don't take, take away from the show. Um, and you don't hang around backstage because you're, it's not your show. You're not on the card. So it's not your locker room. Yeah. So, but while I was in there, I kept trying to see El Escritario and his tattoo and I never could get a look at it because he'd either had a shirt on or, you know, he, he would be moving when he took yeah. his shirt off, he turned, I'm like, God damn it. I want to see this tattoo. <laughs> so I watched the, I go out, I watch the show and I, I am, you know, not dogging anybody, but you know. There was maybe 50 or 60 people there and and you know you'd have thought that there were armed guards positioned at all of the ring posts and the audience was under threat of gunfire if they made a noise during the show i mean it was like they were going to if they said they cheered or booed or did anything they were going to get shot so this this show is it's painful so uh i'm kind of like oh god but now here comes the match that i've been waiting for it's the tag team championship match Okay, uh, out comes, you know, the tag team champions, uh, out come the heels, okay, out comes Dewey and his partner, L. S. Criterio, and I'm excited because I'm like, uh, L. S. Criterio's going to have to take off his shirt. Now, let me explain, you know, L. S. Criterio has three tattoos at that time. He had, like, uh, some flames down here, then he had a big open space on his arm, and he had triple, oh, he had triple X's down here, and they had a big open space, and up near his shoulder, he had flames. Okay, we well, thought those had been attached. And then that was it. That's all he had, except for on his side, right here, on the entire side of his rib cage, he had the tattoo that I wanted to see. But he came out wearing a shirt, both he and Dewey wearing shirts that they had that had they had handmade that had arrows like you know, the I'm with stupid shirts. But they were <laughs> pointing at each other saying superstar. Okay. So Dewey gets in the ring, takes his shirt off. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, and L.S. Criterio does not take his shirt off. I'm like, ooh, ooh. Well, I'm in for a treat anyways. So yeah. I start watching the match. Start watching the match, and it's pretty obvious not too far into the match that the heels are supposed to win. But apparently, um, somebody did not give that memo to Dewey because they're <laughs> trying to pin him and he is continuously kicking out uh, to the point to where the referee is now trying to count faster to <laughs> finish the match. And you're watching, I'm watching the heels get ex ex exasperated. Like they're literally getting frustrated and you can see them talking to each other. Like what the fuck, you know, what are you doing? He just keeps getting out. Right. The more that he keeps kicking out and the more that he keeps struggling to make the tag, 
the more the audience starts getting behind Dewey. He's doing it so much so that the heels have to literally genuinely work as a team to prevent him from making it across the ring. He, can't, he keeps almost getting away. And as he almost gets away, the crowd starts to go, <gasps> and then he, they take him away and they get angry. And then when the ref starts fast counting, the audience starts getting pissed at the referee to the point where a couple guys stood up and started threatening him <laughs> because they thought he was doing things unfairly in, in the heels fat, you know, benefit which he was for a shoot because they were trying to beat dewey because that was yeah. what the, was supposed to happen but dewey, oh, again, apparently, yeah. dewey apparently didn't get the memo but the more <laughs> he did it and the more he tried to make the tag and the more they had to struggle and cheat to keep him in the corner the more the crowds got behind dewey and started chanting for him i'm like this is amazing it's incredible <laughs> And, right. it, and, it was, and it was simple, but it was actually like almost a shoot <laughs> happening in the ring. And then yeah, we'll he, pay attention. He's actually That's got what's, how many times have you seen that happen in these days? None. So finally, they decide, let's make a change of plans. We can't get Dewey to cooperate. Let's bring in L.S. Criterio. We'll just, you know, pin him, right? Seems solid. They, of course, do a little spot. Dewey gets away, makes the tag. The place comes alive. Literally, it's a genuine hot tag. Alice Criterio comes in, starts pulling a little bit of a comeback. They put the brakes on him. Okay. They cover him. You know, crowd's like, no. One, two, what happens? He Dewey runs out. in and breaks up. He, uh -uh. <laughs> no. Dewey runs in and breaks up the pin. Ah, oh, damn, Dewey. <laughs> the heels again are like, what? what is he doing? Like, and every time they put, Ellis Criterio in a compromising position, Dewey comes in and breaks it up over and over again to where now the fans are getting more behind Dewey. And he's on the ring apron pacing like a tiger. He's put his hand out there begging for Ellis Criterio to make the tag. I mean, it's, and the crowd is just getting more amped up, wanting Dewey back in the ring. Okay. Dewey's, Dewey's either the greatest wrestler of all time. Or he's the most frustrating, annoying Mark of all time. You know what I mean? So I, I'm not sure. Well, after he's, the the greatest, story. He's, he's the greatest worker. He yeah. has that audience right in the palm of his hands. And they, he is getting over like a million bucks. So now they, of course, you can see them fall back. The heels reevaluate the plan. You can watch all this happening. And they're like, well, let's get Dewey back in here. Because if we don't get him back in here, he's just going to keep breaking up the pin. Right? Maybe we yeah. can control him. So now El Scriterio, another spot, rolls out, tags Dewey, the place comes up even higher. Just boom. I mean, they people are on the feet. Dewey comes in like a house of fire. I don't remember exactly how it happened, but there was a little bit of a four-way. El Scriterio and heel number two disappear. They take a bump on the floor and they just disappear. Heel number one, double legs Dewey and takes him down and puts him in a shoot figure four leg lock he's trying to get him to give up okay and dewey is screaming bloody murder because he's for shooting you know he's hurting him yeah. he's trying to get him to quit and and dewey won't give up and the crowd is now getting more behind dewey the more he's fighting and he's he's crying he's literally he's crying his face is purple he's crying and he won't he won't quit he won't give up you know, he's trying to reach the ropes. The audience is now building even more. The heat is building. They're dying for him to reach the rope. I don't know how he did it, you know, because on a canvas, it's supposed to be stretched like a drum, you know, skin, real tight so that you don't trip on it or, you know, pull up or anything. He grabbed handfuls of that canvas. I mean, dug his fingers in and just pulled himself and his opponent across the ring reaching out and the audience is like begging for him and he grabs the rope right and the ref starts counting the heel and the heel's like don't let him go because now remember what happened the last month when all it, all it was hurt was his feelings yeah. okay yeah. he went batshit crazy so the heel knows if Dewey gets out of this shit's on you know what yeah. I mean it's not gonna be good 
So he's sitting there, you know, the reps telling him, let him go, let him go. And he's screaming, no, no. Right. And so a couple guys stand up in the audience again, like they're about to hit the ring and the yeah. ref sees them. And is like telling the heel, you got to stop you, man. You got to let him go. You got to let him go. They're coming, they're going to come in the ring. You can see all this being said and the heels freaking out. He doesn't know what to do. And Dewey's still screaming bloody murder, hanging on the rope. And a couple more guys stand up. Right. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to watch a riot. This is going to be amazing. I, I, I'm so thrilled that this might possibly happen. <laughs> so uh, you see all of a sudden the heel goes, okay. And he and the ref's helping him get his legs undone. Dewey, as soon as he gets out of the figure four, is pulling himself on the ro- up the ropes. The heel's getting up. And Dewey launches himself and lets out the, the most insane blood-curdling scream, <laughs> like a battle cry and dives at the heel. The heel grabs Dewey and pulls him tight to him, falls backward, takes a bump, holds on to him as Dewey's struggling to try to beat the shit out of him. Yeah. He's holding him to him as tight as he can and starts screaming at the referee, count, 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 right? Crowd is going crazy. The ref goes down, counts one, stops, shakes his hand, doesn't know what to, counts two. He goes up again like he's and he's holding it and you know Dewey's still trying to beat the hell out of the guy and the guy's still screaming count. A bunch of guys, a bunch of people in the audience stood up. They were going to hit the ring and beat the referee up. You could tell Jeez. if he didn't count. He finally just goes and shrugs his shoulders and goes three. The place explodes, just explodes. A real what you call pop. They popped their nut because Dewey won. He went over and that place <laughs> went crazy. Okay. Jesus. The keel immediately rolls out. He grabs his partner. El Escritario stands on the opposite, stands up on the opposite side of the ring on the floor, like, oh, we 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 won. Oh, oh, great. <laughs> like he was confused. Oh. Dewey's limping in the ring, crying, being handed the belt. People are crying in the audience. They're they're cheering him as he and Ellis Criterio get out of the ring. They're coming up, slapping him on the back, shaking his hands. I mean, it was a. Al's just frozen. That audience. Upstairs. They were Sorry. able to work that. Dewey was able to work that audience and get them so emotionally invested that they took physical action. It was it was incredible. So and- then, of course, I immediately run to the back because you know the the match was awesome, but. I didn't care about that. I wanted to see El Escritario's tattoo. That's all I cared about. <laughs> so I'm back in the back, you know, Dewey's back there crying, face all, you know, the promoter's confused. He don't know what to do. The heels are upset. You know, El Escritario now takes his shirt off. Here's my chance. Here's my moment. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'm like, and I slide right up to him, you know, forget the match. I didn't care about that. I wanted to know, I wanted to see this tattoo. So I started a conversation with him and I'm like, wow, El Scriterio, that's pretty cool, man. You know, because most luchadors have some kind of exciting, dangerous name, like, you know, Aero Fuego, which means Skyfire in English or, you know, or Blue Demon or Mil Mascaris or El Santo. I'm like, El Escriterio, that's, that's cool. Um, what's that mean in Spanish? And he goes, and this is <laughs> salt, I can't make it up. He goes, it means the desk. I go, I'm sorry. Like, what? <laughs> he goes, it means the desk. I go, you're named after a large, heavy piece of furniture. He goes, well, it sounds cool. And I'm like, well, yeah, you got me. It does. It's awfully cool. I mean, but you're a desk. That's <sighs> you're a desk. So on his <laughs> side here. Okay. Probably one of the most, I, I don't have any tattoos. I don't know how much, how painful they are to get, but I can imagine this would probably be not one of the favorite places to get. No, he, that he, he, yeah. he had all this other skin, but he decided to put it there. And it was, I'm telling you from his armpit all the way to his hip. And it was all the way around the each side. Okay. Yeah. And it looked like an eight year old with a blue Sharpie drew it on. What do you think he had there? Mm, a desk. Nope. That <laughs> would be too much like right. Um, nope. No, I, I, he had a top loading Sears Kenmore washing machine tattooed on his side. No. That I is swear nice to God. <laughs> I used to have a picture out of my phone. I showed Steve Austin one time and he was like, because he, he didn't believe me and I had to show it to him. I lost the photo, but 
Yeah, it was it was a it was a Sears Kenmore top loading washing machine that was on his uh, on his side. Oh, of course, yeah. I I was like, that's amazing. Uh, why'd you get a washing machine on your side? He goes, well, I thought it'd be different. You know, I didn't. You know, nobody. I didn't <laughs> think anybody else would have it. And I go, well, you're right. I'm. I've I've been all over the world. I've seen a lot of tattoos. I've never seen anybody with a home appliance on their side. That is I'm insane. Like, that is insane. I said, you ever thought about getting a? You're gonna get a dryer on the other side? He goes, no. I go, 